But well, when I was pregnant with my second child, which is now 27 years ago, um, I joined a yoga class, and uh, it was an ordinary yoga class. But I found that um, many of the positions that we did in the yoga class were um, very helpful as preparation for upright birthing, labor and birth positions. Um, at that time, most people gave birth lying down on their backs. But I'd been researching the history of childbirth, and I'd noticed that throughout history in every culture on the planet, just about, uh, women stood up, uh, were kneeling, standing, squatting uh, during labor and birth. And it seemed to be very unusual for women to lie on the back. Um, so I got the idea that uh, it might be more practical, and I began to research the sort of design of a woman's body, sort of looking at uh, the structure of the pelvic anatomy and so on. And I realized that the whole design of a woman's body is made for upright labor and birth. Um, and somehow the, the two things just came together that uh, yoga was really good preparation for using these positions because, you know, as Western women, um, we're not that used to squatting and kneeling, you know, a lot of the time we sit on chairs and we drive in cars, so our body habits are not um, particularly good for labor and birth, and yoga helps to uh, increase the flexibility of, of the pelvic joints and to make a woman more comfortable in positions like squatting and kneeling. Um, and so those two, two things came together in my awareness and uh, active birth was born, more or less, yeah. It's just really helped me um, switch off, be able to switch off from kind of busy life in London and going to work and everything, you know, you can almost forget you're pregnant because you're so busy rushing around. And it's great to be able to come to a place like this and really relax and spend time thinking about your baby and doing the right exercises. It kind of, it has a really positive effect. It's been wonderful, it's been really relaxing, it's really helped me with breathing. Um, and even all the time I was working, I just found it was an oasis of calm once a week just to come, do a class for a couple of hours and then sleep really well afterwards as well. I think these classes have helped me prepare mentally as well as physically for the kind of challenge ahead. So to give the strength and to give the relaxation, but more than anything it's the confidence to feel that I, I've practiced and I know I've gone in with as much kind of information um, as I can get. Well, there's a big transition between not being pregnant and being pregnant. And for a long while, if you don't actually grow that much, it's quite hard to connect with the idea of having a baby inside you. Mm. And so one of the nice things about coming to a class is being in an environment with other expectant mothers and spending time bonding in a way and having a sense of a new life growing inside you, apart from the exercise and learning how the body relates to you know, the birth process and all the changes. Now I'm going to roll the ball so that it's just going to touch your lower back, very low down. Do you feel that? How does that feel? Okay. Now I'm bringing my legs in beside you so you've got my legs beside you. And now you can come back and rest your elbows on my knees and rest against me. And this is a really great way to be supported in the squatting position. How does it feel? That's great. Many, many people realize that the medical model um, is great with their problems. You know, we're very lucky to have all the obstetric backup, but it um, doesn't work as a r routinely applied to normal mothers having healthy pregnancies and uncomplicated labors are much better off with um, something that um, enables them to use their instincts because we know how to give birth. It's in us, it's in every single woman. And uh, what I do in my work is um, help women find the connection with this instinct. <laughs>